जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल पार्ट वन जेम्स हार्टन सिमिलरली इन द सैंस आफ टेक् जियोलॉजी वी हेव जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल आल द इवेंट टेक इन प्लेस सिंस द आर्जिन आफ यथ आर् कैप्ट इन दिस जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल द कॉन्सेप्ट द प्रेजेंट इज द की टू द पास्ट प्रेजेंट इज द key to the past is proposed by james hutton who was a scottish geologist he was the scottish geologist physician chemical manufacturer naturalist he is also known as the father of geology according to him the earth was much order and that processes occurring in the present were the same processes that had operated in the past and would be the processes that operate in the future this concept in the in particular helped in resolving many critical problems of earth science to name few examples first one is the the thick file of salt strata the thick file of rock salt strata occurring on land where we live was at one time in the past was under the ocean floor the oceans drifted elsewhere from the present place and uh, next one another example the fossils the fossils fuel coal coal comes from giant plants that lived hundreds of million million of years ago same forests even before the dinosaurs when these giant plants and fems uh, died because of volcanic activity and melting of huge ice caps they formed layers at the bottom of the swamps water and dirt began to pile up on top of the dead plant remains hence it is understood that the present coal occurring areas were at one time in the geological past for a dense forests james hutton mentioned the importance of the concept present key is to past in his book named theory of the earth theory of the earth and uh, next one john murray he was the john murray the scientific study of the litho or rock formations and their order of uh, superposition is called stratigraphy that is called as the stratigraphy the concept of order of superposition says the rocks at lower levels are formed earlier than the rocks at upper levels when structurally not disturbed the study of fossils and next one the study of fossils in the rock is called paleontology the detailed study of fossils occurring in the rock strata will help in establishing the stratigraphic details of rocks formations of an area more accurately and uh, next uh, next thing is the based on the study of rock strata john murray calculated the age of the earth as uh, 176 into 3 equal to 528 uh, million years and uh, next one Italian scientist Leonardo da Vinci opined that the fossils occurring in the rock strata now were alive millions of years ago and another scientist another Italian scientist Nicola Steno had disagreed with many who believed in formations of the fossils as the devil's work according to him the fossils are nothing but the mortal remains of the living being once lived on this earth surface based on the fossils finds in the canal cuttings english scientist opined the study of fossils will help in understanding the evolution of earth based on the study of rock strata and their superposition study of fossils paleontologists like carbon 14 dating dating based on the concept of radioactive decay study of lead isotopes etc the geo scientist constructed geological time scale for various events took place since the origin of the earth during the process of building the geological time scale the scientific community overcome several hindrances yet family but geological time scale which is acceptable to many 
though the geological time scale bulb may not be sent percent perfect it provides a lot of useful information about the events happened millions of years ago geological time scale is also being used by the geologists botanists and the social scientists too in their respective studies this is the end if you having any doubts please send to me and give your valuable suggestions please share like and subscribe this channel thanks for the watching have a good day